I cannot miss this moment. Ken, I was out at Bucknell kicking off the fun drive as a friend, as a favor to my uh, friend, Professor Bill Groover. What a remarkable job you've done. You never talk about your charity. I think that's the way it should be done. But I have to say, Bucknell is a fabulous school, and it owes a great deal to you. And I was thrilled to participate in the fun drive. Jim, thanks for saying that. Bucknell is one of the most significant reasons that I've had the life I've had since I graduated. And I'm grateful for the fact that I went there and I, I, I would have been there that night with you, Jim, but I was on my way to the hospital with pneumonia. Oh, Jesus. I was I'm on sorry. Saturday. I'm fine. Oh, no, I'm alive and kicking, as Khrushchev said. Uh, hey, Bob. Bob. <laughs> if you would have heard a discussion about Steve Jobs and business that was remarkable, Steve Jobs was one of the greatest businessmen who ever lived, and he su subscribes to a lot of your thoughts, Ken. Much more about what you're about than I ever thought. Well, hey, by the way, while we're throwing out bouquets, I want to tell you, this dean and CEO at NYU and the entire group there, Jim, there needs to be a special on television about what happened down here under his leadership and every one of these wonderful, the cops, the firemen, the EMS, civilians. It was a night of a miracle, and, and uh, I'm bragging, okay? But I think I have a right to brag based on what they did. Yes, you do. It let others brag for you, too, because it, it is remarkable what you've done, and well, people don't come out and say it, and I just feel like after, for instance, my trip to Bucknell, it's, you built a beautiful campus there. Those other great people have contributed, but the, you don't get credit, so I'm giving you some credit. I get all the credit in the world, John, Jim, and the satisfaction of having succeeded in a capitalistic society starting from nothing, and I want to make sure we preserve that for all the kids that come after us, and that's what this election to me is all about. Well said.